Hey what's going on this is Vincent from Simple to Advertise and in this video we're going to go over something called native advertising and let me show you what that means. So basically if you go to any news website, if you click on any link on Facebook that takes you to some external website that has some news article, if you scroll to the bottom you're going to see these crazy images here. So these ones, there's these ones, there's all of these ones. Most of the time these are all ads and there's a couple of ad networks that are responsible for the majority of these types of ads. You'll find them on every single blog that you go to pretty much these days because they pay really well and they work really well too. So this is some of the sites where you can buy these ads and basically you need a rectangle image, you need a headline, and sometimes you need a subheadline, and then you need to have a page where it links to. Now all of these networks, they have their own rules. Some are more accommodating to certain types of offers than others. So you really just need to either submit your site and see what they say, or you know, read all of the rules before you sign up for an account and make sure that your offer is applicable to that network. So the first one we're going to talk about, because these guys accept a lot of offers. I've seen a lot of different types of offers on here, and they seem to be pretty willing to accept certain things as long as you have the right disclaimers on your page. That's one thing about all these networks is they're very strict on having privacy policy in terms of service and all that kind of stuff at the bottom of the page. So if you don't have the right disclaimers you may have to make a tweak to the page in order to get approved by one of these companies. So this is actually one that I use quite a bit so I'm going to log in and show you what the inside of this looks like. So once you've logged in you go under campaign boosts. This is where you can set up your advertising and I'm just going to go under one of these campaigns to show you sort of how it works. So here is one that we did for Instantly Ageless. I'm gonna go back last 90 days. So you can see on July 27th we got 228 impressions, 68 clicks. That's only a 0.03 conversion. Uh, it cost us $23 but we got four people filling out the form requesting a sample and so at 495 that's 1980 that we made so we actually only lost four dollars to generate four leads on this day we got 604,000 impressions 182 clicks of that only two people converted so this day we lost quite a bit and so you just kinda have to play with it try changing your ads up try changing the targeting. There's a lot of different aspects that go into this that we were testing all throughout this campaign. So let me show you the different targeting options that you have. So under here if you go to add targets you can see these are all of the ones that I don't have in here. So social trending, celebrity gossip, men lifestyle, social quizzes, moms, women lifestyle health and fitness, all these different categories you can put your ads in. So these are all different blogs and things that are related to these categories. And so these are the ones I was using, conservative news, beauty style and fashion, diply.com, western journalism. These are the ones that were getting me the best conversion ratios. And so these were the, the ones that I stuck on. The other really important factor to getting these click-throughs is your content, and so these are the actual ads that people will click on. And so I'm not going to spoil this too much by showing you all of my ads, I'll show you the, the ones that show up here at the top. But basically, you have to somehow figure out a way to source images that you are legally allowed to use. And so, some of the images I had to find in certain places, and I had to pay for them. I found stock photography websites that we purchased from or have subscriptions on. So it really requires you to go out there and find images that you can use or take your own images and use those ones. But you'll want to find images that get click-throughs. And so these were the ones, some of the ones that I was using for this campaign in particular. You know, a good idea might be to go into the targeting and actually go to some of the websites that are listed here. So actually go to Forbes.com and look at the ads that are being displayed on their articles. So let's just click on something here. So here at the bottom they're using, this is Gravity, this is another company. But these are the types of ads that people are clicking on. But essentially all of these networks work in the same way. You set up your creative, you set up your image, your title, you give it a subheadline, you tell them where you want it to link to. 
So here are some other companies that will let you set up a very similar campaign and each one of these companies is on different websites so you'll want to test your campaign across all of these or some of them and see which ones perform the best and then scale those ones up. So Content Ad is another one. They don't have as much targeting but they do have a cheap per click that you can set up with them and there's no minimum. Gravity, you're going to have to email these guys to get access and they're going to want to look at your offer first before they accept you but this is another large network that's on a lot of very popular websites. MGID, these guys will accept all sorts of campaigns and they've got lots and lots of different websites where you can spend money. It's very easy to spend thousands of dollars a day with MGID. If you spend enough with these guys, they'll actually assign you an account manager who will handle creating all of the creatives for you. So all you have to do is give them the link and they get to work. But you have to be spending quite a bit that to happen. On AdBlade you set up your campaign, you deposit some money into the account, say $100, within a few minutes it's over. The campaign is done. You've already gotten your clicks. It comes in so fast. These guys get so many clicks. It's crazy. So if you can keep a campaign going and it's working for you, and this is a place where you can really scale it. Tabula, I haven't had the opportunity to work with these guys because currently they have a $5,000 minimum just to talk to them. So if you want to set up a campaign, it's minimum $5,000 just to make a deposit and get started. So these are the guys to go to when you want to go big time. Outbrain, same sort of thing. These guys are going to require a large spend to get in, but they're also on a lot of the really big websites that are out there. So check out Outbrain if you have the right type of offer for that. So that is native advertising. I hope this video has been helpful for you, and I hope that one of these networks is the one that starts putting your inbox on fire with lead notifications and sale notifications and all that good stuff to lead you to success. You know, this is just the tip of the iceberg, and anyone that joins our team will be giving full access to all of my in-depth advertising network training. So click the link below, and myself or one of my teammates will be in contact with you shortly. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.